What's up guys, it's DJ from Carrington Brotherhood. Welcome back to the channel. Uh, in today's video, um, I'm gonna start by apologizing. If you guys recall, about two videos ago, I posted a video about me taking an L. And that video was about uh, finasteride and minoxidil and the relationship between the two. And in that video, I came to the conclusion based on that research study that I linked that if you use finasteride with minoxidil together, that it would cause your hair to shed. And I need to tell you guys that I was wrong. I was wrong. Uh, I misinterpreted that study. And um, it was actually thanks to um, a viewer, maybe a subscriber, I don't know. But uh, it was a comment that was left that kind of outlined the mistake that I made. And I really needed to say thank you to that viewer because, um, guys, my channel, I've always tried to make my channel about transparency. And with transparency means giving you guys the correct information, not misinformation. And when I found the research study, I think I skimmed over it so quickly that the conclusion that I had reached, uh, I was so just, I was there. I was so like, oh my God, this is like a breakthrough um, that I failed to actually get into the details and fully understand what it was saying. And so for that, I'm sorry. That's why if you guys have been looking for the video, it's gone. It was getting good views and everything, but I don't, it's not right for me to leave the video up and spread more misinformation. You guys know how I feel about misinformation and misleading content. So in this video, I'd like to really quickly go over the research study and, and pull up the, the points that we need to talk about. Firstly, the research study is not saying that finasteride plus minoxidil is going to cause your hair to shed. That's false. That was my misunderstanding. Basically, the conclusion of the research study was if you use finasteride oral and you pair it with minoxidil, uh, you will see regrowth. And I'm going to talk about what kind of regrowth you'll see in just a moment. But that regrowth, if you stop minoxidil while still on finasteride, finasteride will not maintain the hair that was grown through minoxidil. I know this question comes up a lot. You know, if I use minoxidil for a little while while taking finasteride, can I stop the minoxidil and then, you know, maintain the hair that I gained on the minoxidil? And the conclusion was, no, you can't. Also, the hairs that you gain while on minoxidil, um, they are not going to be the full, thick, terminal hairs that you and I are really looking for. If you guys go back to my three-month video, um, if you guys go back to my, I believe it was my eight-month video, and you'll see that I had quite a bit of hair on my head. I talked about those hairs were very fine. They had like a downy feel to them, and they weren't fully thick. This is another mistake that I made about the understanding of how the finasteride and minoxidil work. My understanding was that those hairs would go through cycles and then thicken up after a few sheds. What I'm getting from this research study is that's actually not what's going to happen. Those hairs are going to grow in a cycle just like the hairs around it, the normal healthy hairs, um, but they're not going to see like a, a boosted growth cycle per se, and they're not going to go into like full terminal stage. Um, what they're going to stay basically vellus or maybe intermediate between the vellus and the terminal hair. Also, they show lower signs of productivity, meaning uh, they'll grow and then they'll just stop. There's going to be like waves of growth. So there's not going to be continual growth through this antigen growth period, but rather there's going to be like a quick up and a quick down, or there's going to be a plateau immediately after the initial growth. Uh, also, when you talk about the hairs that are coming out, uh, it gives the appearance of density. That's why my hair looks so thick at eight months. But those hairs are not terminal hairs. That brings me to um, the final point about the finasteride and minoxidil. Because I made a mistake, and um, I guess I, I, not guess, I have kind of been misleading you guys with the wrong information. And also speaking with the hair loss show doctor, I think that it's necessary that I start using the uh, minoxidil again. And the reason I say that, um, like I told you before, I want to go towards a more natural uh, you know, way of doing things. But for the purpose of you guys, like I said, these videos are for you. Um, by starting minoxidil again from today, hopefully we can get back to where I was at my three month and eight month videos. And if that's true, if I can get back to that, to that point, then we can start reevaluating like the the way that the two drugs work together. Because right now, as you guys know, I have not been on minoxidil since uh, 10 and a half months. So guys, I'm so sorry. Um, I know you guys really come to my channel for like real information, not misleading information. 
And I have to admit that I really jumped the gun on that research study. Again, I'll link it in the description for you guys. Go back and read it again. To the viewer who left the comments about me misunderstanding the research study, thank you for that. Um, I'm not the type of person that's like, well, you know, whatever, dude. If I have an L to take, I will gladly receive it. All right, so I guess that this is two L's that I've taken in like the past month. Anyways, my name is DJ from Carrot and Brotherhood. I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.